Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to Sprocket. Today we're going to be building a ridiculous derp version of an IS-3 kind of thing. Uh, so this is going to be a pike-nosed heavy tank and uh, I saw in my record uh, suggested sorry, page of my Discord, which is linked in the description. Nice plug there. Uh, <laughs> somebody posted a rotating 3D model of like a, a really big mortar mounted on the turret uh, in like a big boxy turret on top of an IS-3 hill. And I decided to give a go at that. Uh, now my gun isn't going to be quite as big as that because I did actually want it to kind of work in the game. Uh, but it's still the biggest you can get without fire leather zing in Sprocket and uh, everything fits within the tank technically. Uh, you know, I, I did a little bit of load of fire leather zing to make the reload uh, somewhat bearable. Uh, it's, it's about a KV-2's reload with a bigger gun. Uh, but, you know, we'll call that fine. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a ridiculous concept, but I, I think it's quite a fun one. So I, I hope you agree. And if you do agree, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know what you would do with this kind of a hull. Or, in fact, just, just do what you want with this kind of a hull. You can download it, once again, in my Discord in the description. There will be the files for this tank in the Tank Repository channel once I remember to post them. Uh, <laughs> I'm bullied regularly for forgetting after uploading. And I, I try. I really try. I'm just stupid, okay? Okay, I'm, I'm just dumb. Uh, but, but yeah, it'll, it'll be there eventually. Uh, especially if you remind me. Uh, it'll be there much quicker if you remind me, in fact. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm so bad at that. Um, and if you want to support someone who's bad at that, I also have a Patreon, which is also linked in the description. Uh, uh, look at that. I'm getting all the plugs in. I'm getting all of the plugs in, apart from the, you know, like and subscribe one. But I've done that now. <laughs> yeah, uh, tanks. Yeah, tanks. What am I on about? I don't know. Um, I'm delirious, I think. I <laughs> it's, you know what? I, it's, been, it's been a long few days. The cat has been just the worst at waking me up really early in the morning. I am so tired. And for the... She's not sat on my lap right now. She just left. But for all of the gameplay of this, just picture the cat on my lap. Uh, while I'm doing all of it. She was there through the whole thing, and it was great. It was an absolutely 10 out of 10 experience. She's now behind me, sat on the windowsill, enjoying the sun, because the sun's come out. It was raining earlier, so, you know, it was cold. Came to my lap, now the sun's out. She's just given up. She didn't care for me anymore, which is just, you know, cat energy, 110% here. Uh, I'm putting on a custom mantlet on this thing as well, because, uh, I don't know, the, the base game mantlets, they weren't vertical enough. Um, and they just didn't quite fit the, uh, the vibe I wanted. They, they, I had to stretch them, uh, and then you've got, like, the oval hole for the gun, and the gun's a circle, so I just went with a custom mantler, um, because it, it, you know, ultimately, I prefer it to having to stretch a mantler horribly, but, uh, yeah, I mean, you don't have to. Um, gosh, I'm, I'm so incredibly lost within my own thoughts at this moment in time. But yeah, this this thing it was meant to be one of my most armored tanks I've made, uh, and that would make up for the reload. But yeah, you'll you'll see very shortly uh, what ended up happening, because this building process is pretty much over. This is pretty much the done tank. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll go back to uh, past me to uh, to play this hunk of junk. <laughs> And here we have our Mark 211 a So I've already posted uh, pictures of this in the official Sprocket Discord and uh, in, uh, ironically, I think Frantic's Discord, um, but not my own, um, I, which is maybe a little bit odd. But uh, so a lot of people have been calling this thing a BT-42, and I can see it now. I, I didn't even think about it at the time I was building it. I am noticing that clipping right there. That is really bothering me. And now I've pointed out it's really going to bother you. I'll fix that. <laughs> I'll, fi I'll fix that before we do the gameplay. Um, but yeah, uh, BT-42 on an IS-3 hull, I guess, is what we've ended up building. Uh, let me know if, if you see that. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, I can't unsee it now. And so I had to bring it up. <laughs> okay, so, um, there's a couple of things that's going to make it really difficult to actually do this campaign mission. Uh, number one, there's only <laughs> there's only one of me. I only get one tank because this thing weighs 63 tons. It is a very, very heavy tank. And uh, 
the reload is like 30 seconds, 20, 27 seconds I think it is. Uh, my mobility is pretty good though, and my armor is also pretty good. A couple of places I really can't show uh, are the lower plate for sure, and I obviously don't want to show the lower end of my sides, so you can see I've got this kind of... Um, I got this kind of pike on the side here, which means that this is actually quite hard to penetrate. But down here, it is flat behind the tracks. So that's obviously going to be a weak spot. That's only about 80 millimeters thick. Up here, we're okay. So we can expose like quite a lot of side, so long as there's a hill there. Um, obviously the turret, not very thick on the sides or the back, but that's fairly standard. Um, yeah, and I'm going to have to do all this work myself. So this could be difficult. <laughs> Okay, I gotta have my eyes peeled here. There's, I see a king tiger pushing over, or is that, is that a, something lighter? I think it's lighter. It's a super Cromwell. There we go. I just wanted to make sure that we were absolutely gonna go through there, which we have. Uh, now, okay, they're pushing up already. Oh, <laughs> where did they go through? Oh, not there, that, that bounced. Uh, is it on the turret? Oh yeah, they got the they got the turret ring. Oh, that is that is unfortunate. All right, we've doubled the budget size, so now I have two allies, and in theory, these guys should be able to soak up some shots for me. But so far, despite being one of the most heavily armored tanks I've ever built, uh, the armor is having no effect whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know how. I just heard one of my allies fire. It was a very big shot, but they've not killed anything. There's some spillets. Uh, let's... Oh, the tree launched that up and left. They're spatters, not spillets. Uh, yeah, well, now we're waiting for our 20-second reload, and um, so far, it's not gone well. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, it's not good at all. I've been penetrated already. Uh, oh god, is there cover I can get into? No. Alright, I've just increased the armor more. I <laughs> really thought we were going to have lots of armor and be able to bounce a lot of shots here. And it we've barely bounced anything. <laughs> it's just, it's going so wrong. <laughs> it's so incredibly wrong. And I, I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. It's, this is the worst tank I've ever built, and I really didn't think it was going to be this bad. Hello, my friends. Uh, oh, I skimmed him. I skimmed the top of his tank. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, goodness me. Uh, mm, yeah, not ideal. <laughs> not ideal. I... I feel like I was hulled down. I feel like they're just blasting through the front of my tank now. Um, mm, mm, yeah, not not so great. Not so great at all. Can we kill a single enemy? Yeah, we got one. Okay, now just a 30 second reload, which we almost definitely won't live through. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this tank is awful. Oh no, he's just gone through. He's just gone clean through. <laughs> no, no, no you don't. I am I am a heavy tank. Fear me. Fear me. <laughs> yes. Okay, two kills. Only four of them left. And yeah, now we're on to our hull ammo. Which is an even slower reload. I do have APHE left in the turret, but I don't fancy using it because, uh, yeah, not a lot of penetration on those. I've been shot from this forest. I don't exactly know where, but we're going to charge him down because we've got to close the range if we're ever going to hit with this gun. Uh, there he is. Oh, no. I've got quite a long reload left. No! <laughs> where did he go through? Oh, just right through the mantlet. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I really didn't think this was going to take so long. <laughs> to be fair, each level, I guess, isn't taking too long for all of my tanks to die. But um, 
We're on attempt number like 783 now. Um, it's not going well. I've probably cut out most of them. <laughs> it's just a disaster. This is the worst tank I have ever ever made and it has all of the qualities I thought it would need to be good. I'm just wrong. I'm just incredibly wrong. There's a king tiger. I don't think I'm ever going to go through the front of it uh, at this kind of a range. I just don't have the accuracy required to pinpoint weak spots, you know. Uh, let's take out that guy. There we go and re reverse down into this little dip here. If I go here, I don't think anyone can shoot me. So we're going to chill, and we're going to wait. My, my ally shot a hill, but that's fine. So far, we've not lost any tanks, and we've almost brought it to one-on-one -on -one in terms of numbers, which is... That's wonderful news, to be honest. Uh, that, is, that is such a better start than we normally get. Uh, there's a guy that I want to take out. You should be quite an easy kill. Yeah, okay. Oh, there goes our first... There goes our first 211. So now we have two versus three. Not awful odds. It's quite a long reload. I really am terrified of being flanked. We've just lost our other ally. Now it's one on three. So we're back to the odds we were at at the start. Um, this tiger was pushing up to me. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that he continues and I can just put one through the front of his turret like that. We love to see it. I'm terrified that one's about to come up behind me. Because uh, I would have no idea <laughs> about whether it has or not. There's that tiger over in the forest. Is that pushing up? The tiger is still in the forest over there. I think he's stuck on a tree, which is a little bit upsetting. I would like... Oh, what a shot! Perfect! Absolutely perfect. I have no idea where the last tiger is at the moment. Oh my god, I'm so scared. My entire body is tense right now. <gasps> oh, it's behind me! It's behind me! No, 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 that's so bad. That's so, so bad. That It's there. I, I want it to waste a shot and then I'll just lob one. Oh my gosh! It took so long to defeat this one mission. We've tried so many times, and we have finally succeeded. Oh my gosh. And now it's only going to get worse because we're moving to defense, baby. <laughs> if you thought the reload was a problem on the previous level, you've not seen the reload on this level yet. We have to kill two tanks each if we want to win this level. Um, it is, it, it, yes, 12 enemies to six allies and with a 25 second reload that's not great we might we might have to swap out the gun for something a little more reasonable if we want to win this because i, I don't don't think it's gonna happen i'm gonna level with you okay i'm seeing the first hints of enemies let's start as we mean to go on here amx Oh, that's not starting as we mean to go on at all! That's starting so that he can't go on anymore because I took out his track. Oh, my allies have missed. Please don't keep missing. We need we need a... From here on out, we, we need a minimum 100% accuracy. <laughs> Ideally, 200%. If we can kill two enemies with each shot, we might just win. Uh, oh, goodness me. That AMX has a jiggy on right now. That's him dead. 35 second reload. There's not a lot we can do here. We just have to watch and hope that my allies can kill these IS-122s before they cross the border. And I don't think it's going to happen. we got 20 seconds left. No. <laughs> no. I want to stop you so bad. <laughs> it wasn't even them that crossed the border. We killed two. Two. That's not a good start. Okay, we have, um... Oh. Uh, technically downgraded the gun to a 152. Uh, I've left 200% weight limit on because I feel like more allies is more good. But also, that's given the enemy team 
18 tanks. Um, which is not great odds. We do reload much quicker than you'd think for a 152 because uh, I have file edited the loader to have double the space. That's how I got the 250 down to just 25 second reload. Just. Uh, oh, that is... That is a heartbreak. That's bounced. Oh, that's no good at all. Uh, let's start picking them off. I've loaded the AP. We should now actually be able to kill. Um, I feel like I'm going to need to support my friends on the right soon because there's not many of my friendlies over that side. However, I need to defend my point first. Uh, let's take this guy out and then look over to the right and start supporting longer range shots. Uh, let's go there. Okay, he's tracked. That means he's no longer a threat of crossing the border at the very least. That guy is currently my biggest concern, even though there's one really close to me. I've taken him out. That's not bad. Um, oh, come on. I don't know how my friendlies behind me are doing. Probably not too great. But we don't really have time to be concerned about that side. We have to focus on the number of enemies pushing down this side, which is a lot. There's a lot of them, and those guys have a lot of armor. Can I even go through? I can. We, <laughs> we're losing some allies at this point, uh, but we're not looking like a complete loss yet. Uh, let's try and pick off that lawmaker at long range. I'm hoping that this is about right. Uh... Oh, I've shot short. Seems that he's stuck on his friend, though. Uh, can I just put it put it in the side of his tank? Oh, it's bounced off. They have so much armor, those lawmakers. He is giving me the rear. Let's aim for that. I'm getting shot from behind. Uh, I'm going to have to move. That was all of my tanks? That's not how we tend to lose here. <laughs> yeah, that's not the way I expected to lose. Losing on, on just number of tanks especially given how much armor this thing has i really cannot stress enough how thick the armor on this tank is it's very angled and the plates are very thick and yet it's just crumbling to these enemy guns they are very very high penetration all right we gotta start helping oh that's just so such a bad start the first thing to happen is one of my allies dies that is just awful um let's try and help out on this side a bit i guess uh you need to go good sir oh goodness me i feel like i really need the ai to be aiming a bit better than they are here uh we are in a lot of trouble already i just feel like we're not killing them quickly enough that's bounced, but I think I took off his track. So let's leave him. Uh, let's take out this one. Gone. Uh, we do have a lot of post-pen damage. There's people about to cross the border on this side, I think. Uh, maybe? Maybe I'm wrong. Hello, friend. Uh, clearly, I didn't take out his track. There we go. He's gone. Uh, let's turn this way. I see a guy in the distance running for it. Let's see if we can stop him. Uh, he's currently oh, so far... Oh, I got his track. Okay. I got his track. We're okay. Uh, that is a centurion. He's gone behind the hill. Let's just finish that guy off so he doesn't... Or we'll just not kill him. Uh, okay. Please. Please, I'm begging you. Oh, then the centurion showed up after I... Oh, come on! They didn't even kill him! <laughs> <laughs> That's so heartbreaking. I think I've lost a track and it's making me bounce around a lot. There goes a centurion. I'm gonna have to keep my shot trained for this guy because he's running for that border. Stop! There we go. He's done. There's that guy still shooting at me. He's taken out both my tracks at this point. <laughs> Stop that. How are you alive? The sheer weight of steel hitting your tank must have killed your crew by now. There we... Goodness me, that was... What, how, ooh, I'm behind the border. Uh, that's unique. Hello, you look lost. Are you my final enemy? Oh, yeah, you are. Wonderful! Oh, that is... That is, that is a feel-good moment right there. Oh, 
we did it. I really didn't think we were, um, but we have we have pulled off this level. Um, uh, let's see if I can work out some kind of a fun custom battle for this. Okie dokie, we have a bit of an interesting battle here. We have three of our 250mm armed versions of this, the 211, and two of the 152 armed versions, uh, versus five polar opposites of it, basically. The APC we built, uh, not the APC, the IFE we built in the last video, uh, the Swedish looking thing, uh, with the 88mm gun and very, very little armor, what was built for a competition using a bot. Um, feel free to go back and watch that video if you want to see the process. Uh, I have immediately been deleted. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the a a IFE has a very, very powerful 88mm gun. Uh, oh, goodness me. And a quick reload as well, uh, which makes it the absolute polar opposite of the... Oh, 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 my soul! My poor soul! <laughs> okay, l let's try five versus four. Uh, which doesn't really make sense, because this thing would cost so much more to build. Um, <laughs> oh, we're getting destroyed. Oh, that is... Oh, this is this is the worst tank I've ever made. <laughs> so bad! It's just awful! I mean, I really thought the armor was going to hold a torch. I really did, but it it's just nothing. Oh, what's happened to my aim? I was so good! I was so good in Tiger at, at shooting this gun, and I've just failed so badly with everything every shot against these IFVs. Maybe they've got active protection systems that are making me terrible. The active protection is just, you know, skill issue. Um, hello, friend. Look, I'm about to reload. Please don't kill me first. Look. Yes! Yes! Okay! With a numerical advantage, <laughs> we can just about... We can just about kill a very flawed M uh, <laughs> I Oh, goodness me. This is quite possibly the single worst tank I have ever built on this channel. <laughs> it's just so bad. Uh, but if you feel like you could do any better, uh, feel free to have a go at putting your own turret on this thing or playing around with the hull, whatever you want to do with it. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it, what a disaster. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Uh, and I hope to see you in future videos. Uh, you can also support this channel on Patreon if you have a little bit of money to spare. Uh, it, it's greatly appreciated and really helps me bring out these videos a little bit more often. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the future. Goodbye! And as always, a huge thank you to this channel's patrons, Badger, Chemgem135, Cody N, DJ Peets, Gavin Yelverton, Gunmaster929, Sad Cat, Yoki003, Just Casual T621, Last Legend11, Mildly Invested, Nicholas K, Rule Souls Bokken, Ryan Brody, The Canesian Emperor, Tree Loving Mango, Zerashime, and Zeit Wolverine. Thank you so much for your support.